Juliana. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm discussing the best clarinet etude books for advanced players that have worked well in my clarinet studio over the years. These books typically work well for students that have been playing for around four or five years, typically high school students, but it just depends what skill level the student is at. If you missed my previous videos about the best etude books for beginners and the best etude books for intermediate players, I will link them in the description box below if you'd like to check them out. Before we dive in, if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on my clarinet videos. I also want to mention that all of the books I'll be talking about today, I will link anything that I can find in the description box below. As always, here are the video chapters so you can skip around to the parts of the video that interest you. All right, let's get started. First up, we have the Rose 40 Studies for Clarinet and also the Rose 32 Etudes for Clarinet. You can also purchase actually this edition, Artistic Studies Book 1 from the French School. They have the Rose 40 Studies Book 1 and Book 2. This uh, book right here is only Book 1. Uh, and it also includes the Rose 32 Etudes, which is this book right here, and the Rose 9 Caprices. So starting with Rose 40. So this is a very standard book in the literature and repertoire for clarinet. Chances are if you are an advanced player or you're going to a conservatory or a collegiate music school, you will study this group of etudes or studies for clarinet. When I was growing up, my teacher had uh, lessons that he would take and sort of, you wouldn't play the etudes straight through, you would actually kind of um, mix things up to learn the required element of what they were trying to teach, like articulation, long tones, things like that. So. And not only that, my uh, teacher at uh, CCM, which is the Cincinnati College Conservatory of Music, they had a whole system that they used with these with this particular A2 book, the Rose 40. And you see, you just go through here. It looks like a lot of notes, but actually I have this warm-ups from, this must be over 20 years old, and how they use each A2 what you're supposed to learn with each A2 there. So that's that book. Moving on to the 32 A2s for clarinet by Rose. We do a little flip through. And these are very standard A2s. I actually see these come up a lot on um, like district band auditions, all state auditions, they'll use uh, either the whole etude or parts of the etude um, just for the prepared prepared piece that you do for each competition. But these are very standard, uh, very beautiful etudes in the clarinet literature. Um, that's a flip through of this book. Next up, we have the uh, Rubank Advanced Method for Clarinet, Volume 1 and then the Advanced Method, Volume 2. What I find peculiar, if you watched any of my other videos, like when I talked about the Rubank book for elementary method and for intermediate method, they all have slightly different fingering charts, which you know really perplexes me. But if you look at this fingering chart, all of the labeling is different from the intermediate book and from the uh, beginning elementary book and these um, fingering charts I don't really love them I don't think they're very clear just to state that again <laughs> but what I like about these books is that they go through um, all these different scale studies and arpeggio studies and exercises of scales and thirds and just a quick flip through of this they're starting to prepare you to play more complicated passages within music and clarinet. I think it's it's laid out really well 
for that. Also, we see sort of an introduction of a lot of um, duets that you can play with your student, or if you're the student, you can play these with your teacher. Um, yeah, and I think it's really helpful. Here is volume two. It's um, set up the same way, uh, the same with that um, fingering chart, which I don't love. <laughs> And moving on, you're just going through more advanced um, patterns and scales and key signatures with the scales. Um, we start with E flat and work our way on up. Here we have A flat, F minor. So we're doing this flip through here. We're going into D flat major. And, you know, just harder to read keys, I would say, on clarinet at least. Uh, B major is kind of a tough scale on clarinet. And let's see, I didn't see G flat major or F sharp major, but maybe it's in the back of the book. Let's keep going through here. So again, we have more duets. These are nice to play. They're getting, uh, you know, as you would assume, assume more complicated as we go through here. And just more complicated studies which these are really helpful. One of my teachers used to say, the more patterns you know on clarinet, the easier sight reading is going to be for you. So this book is really preparing you for more advanced clarinet literature. And next we have the modern course for clarinet by James Colas. We have book five and book six. I really like to pair these with the Rubank um, method books because um, sometimes it can be kind of boring just to be doing these skill drills all the time but what I like about these books is you know they're advancing uh, your technique and your sight reading abilities while playing some really nice pieces that it sounds like you know beautiful music but you're slowly entering into more advanced key signatures um, Going through here, I'm in, currently in book five. Yeah, and these are just nice, you know, nice etudes to work work through. And let's see, I'll show you book six. It's um, more the same, more, I would say more difficult passages on clarinet, learning things like last time and in the inter intermediate versions that they were, you're learning mordants, how to do mordants, how to do turns, nogschlags. So this is a great book to advance and also a companion book to any of the Rubank method books. Next up is uh, the level six through eight advanced book in the series of Improve Your Sight Reading. And again, as you can see, we're going through different stages, different levels here, improving our sight reading on more, I would say, more difficult key signatures. Moving forward. And what I like about um, particularly this, uh, this level, six through eight, is that you start learning more about um, odd meter, how to read through odd meter. I would say you definitely want to work with maybe a teacher or just a more advanced player on these exercises just to make sure you're playing everything correctly. But these, these are great. This is a great, you know, entrance into how to read odd meter etudes. I have some other great odd meter etude books I can recommend, but I would say start out with this book. And that wraps up our journey through some fantastic clarinet etude books for advanced players. I hope you found this guide helpful and that you're now armed with the perfect resources to take your clarinet playing to the next level. If you've used any of these books or have other favorites, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear about your experiences and recommendations. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow clarinetists. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Happy practicing, and I'll see you next time. Bye.